it's time for me to deliver the goods. So let's get to the no-have step in hockey coverage operation number 699 for the Renegades of Puck. That is right, show number 699. For the Renegades of Puck, now 10 plus years in existence in radio format and podcast format. So it is so great to be here in the bunker on this moment in hockey history. The National Purs currently find themselves 38 games played on the season. They suddenly have a record of 18, 14, and 6. 42 points has them fourth place in the Central Division. They are just four points below the automatic cutoff line for a playoff spot in the Minnesota Wild number three seat. They are nine points behind the second place Winnipeg Jets, and they are 10 points behind the first place Dallas Stars. Now, it is a close pack in the standings right now, so this is subject to change on a hourly basis. Colorado is one point behind the Predators. St. Louis also one point behind the Predators. The Arizona Coyotes in seventh place, 11 points behind Nashville. And Chicago Blackhawks are 20 points clear of the Nashville Predators. The Predators are in the middle of a long five-game road trip right now. Two games in, three to go, so their next game will take place on the road. 9-8-3 is their record on the road currently. They have 108 goals for on the season, 115 goals against. It's a minus 7 goal differential. That's the best the goal differential has looked in quite some time. For the Nashville Purs, this is the pivot game of the road trip. 2-0 so far. They've acquired all four points possible now. They will be in Ottawa, then Wednesday in Toronto, Thursday at Montreal. That will close out the five-game road trip back home at Bridgestone Arena Saturday night versus the Buffalo Sabres on the 16th versus the Calgary Flames on January the 17th versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, this Ottawa Senators team, while the overall record, the points, and some of the stats aren't the most impressive, this is not a team you can take lightly or screw around with, and that's exactly what the National Predators found out back on December the 10th at Bridgestone Arena when the National Predators fell in regulation 3-2 to two against the Ottawa Senators. It was Batherson with a goal, also Debrinkit with a goal, and Debrinkit usually has very good games against the National Predators. He has throughout his career, and you saw Trent and Niederreiter getting goals for the National Predators. UC Stars took a loss in that game 30 out of 33. Now, the Ottawa Senators overall in the season, they're 18-17-3. 39 points is 7th in the Atlantic Division, but again, don't let the points in the standings position be too deceiving. They're 11, 8, and 1 on home ice. They have a goal differential of even, meaning they've given up 116 and they've scored 116 on the season. Now, in this most recent stretch of action, also not just pay attention to the results, but pay attention to some of the opponents. This Ottawa Senators team is not to be taken lightly right now. In the previous five games for the Ottawa Senators on the 27th of December coming out of the Christmas break, it was a 3-2 shootout win versus the Boston Bruins. On 29th of December, it was a 4-3 overtime win at the Washington Capitals. Then it was a 4-2 loss on New Year's Eve at the Detroit Red Wings. Then a 3-1 win versus the Buffalo Sabres on New Year's Day. Most recently, a 4-0 victory versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Anton Forsberg got shut out in that game with 22 saves. And now the Ottawa Senators will take on the Seattle Kraken before welcoming in the Nashville Predators. We'll take a look inside the rankings and the numbers in the matchup here between the Preds and the Sens because, again, the looks of the standings could be deceiving. This Ottawa Senators team is better than they appear to be. It was a very difficult start to the season. Preds are scoring 2.79 goals per game. That's 27th best in the NHL. And the Ottawa Senators are scoring 3.03 goals per game. That's 24th best in the NHL. Goals against 15th best for the Preds. They're giving up 3 per game, while Ottawa's giving up 3.05 per game. That is 17th in the NHL. And the shot Shots for category. Auto is generating 33.3 shots per game on the net. That is sixth the best overall in the NHL. The National Predators are generating 30.6 shots on net per game. That is 20th in the NHL. On the shots for shots against category, the National Predators are giving up 34.1 per game. That's 29th in the league. And the Auto Centers are giving up 32.2 against. That's 22nd in the NHL. Now, special teams. This is where the Auto Centers are going to have a distinct advantage in this game. And the National Predators have got to be absolutely careful to keep this game at five on flight five-on-five play as much as possible. Ottawa Senators have the second best power play in the NHL, converting a 28% 38 out of 135 opportunities on the season, while the National Predators are converting at only 18%. That is 28th overall in the NHL. They've only converted 23 times on 128 opportunities. When it comes to the penalty kill, the Ottawa Senators, again, may surprise you. Sixth best in the NHL. They've only given up 24 power play goals against the season. They have a kill rate of 82.1%. When it comes to the National Predators, right in the middle of the pack, 15th in the NHL, they've given up 27 power plays against 
against. Their kill rate, 79.4%. When it comes to every team in the NHL, there are, of course, significant high-skilled individuals, and these two teams, there is no doubt of that. Let's go over the home team, Ottawa Senators, first, and it is Kachuk leading the team in scoring 13 goals and 26 assists for 39 points. Those 26 assists leads the Ottawa Senators in scoring. Drew has 15 goals and 21 assists for 36 points. His 15 goals are tied for the team lead in goals. Batherson is 13 and 23 for 36 points. Debrinket 13 and 23 for 36 points. So three players in a row there tied for second on the Ottawa Senators in scoring with 36 points. And then Stutzel at 35 points, 15 goals, 20 assists. So he also is tied for the team lead in goals scored. Anton Forsberg has a record of 7-8 and 2 on the season. 9-1-4 save percentage, 2.91 goals against average. So putting up some highly impressive numbers for having a losing record. On the National Predators side of the ledger, Philip Forsberg leads the National Predators in scoring 15 goals, 19 assists for 34 overall points, says 15 goals, leads the National Predators in goals. The captain, Romeo he has nine goals and 22 assists for 31 points. Those 22 assists lead the Nashville Predators in assists. Matt Duchesne's at 11 and 19 for 30 points. Mikhail Granlund, four and 21 for 25. And Nino Niederreiter, 12 goals and nine assists for 21 points. UC Soros in net, 14, 10, and five. A 918 save percentage, 2.77 goals against average. And those numbers have increased dramatically in the positive direction since the early weeks of the season. It's great for UC Soros. He could find himself back into some significant conversations in the second half of the conversation, but still some work to go for the National Predators and for the netminder UC Saros. But he has certainly, again, turned around what was a cold start to his season back in October and early November, and now he is easily one of the best goaltenders in the NHL and putting up numbers that are just remarkable as of late, including, obviously, a career night against the Carolina Hurricanes to start this road trip for the Nashville Predators. I got you all set up. The Preds have four out of four points in the first two games on the road trip. Very difficult hinge game right here, and then they have two more tough games games at Toronto at Montreal don't let the standings deceive you over in the Eastern Conference some of these teams are playing well above where their points are and where their placement is within their division